honeycomb group proteins are conserved epigenetic components essential for cell differentiation which maintain gene silencing during development. Hox gene clusters are the best characterized polycomb group targets and the loss of polycomb group proteins affects both Hox gene expression and chromatin compaction. In Drosophila, Hox gene expression is regulated by canonical PRC1 which is composed of sex combs extra, posterior sex combs SUS2, and two proteins that are specific components of this complex, polyhomeotic and polycomb. The mechanism by which canonical PRC1 mediates gene silencing is not understood. It has been shown that PRC1 is involved in chromatin compaction in vitro and in vivo, but it is unknown whether PRC1-dependent transcriptional silencing is a consequence of its role on higher-order chromatin folding or whether higher-order chromatin compaction may instead be a consequence of silencing. In this study, in order to disentangle these two phenomena, we analyzed the time course of 3D chromatin compaction and Hox gene expression in wild type or in mutant embryos in which polyhomeotic or polycomb are deleted. We show that the absence of polyhomeotic or polycomb affects the higher order chromatin folding of Hox clusters prior to ectopic Hox gene transcription demonstrating that PRC1 primary function during early embryogenesis is to compact its target chromatin. During later embryogenesis, we observed further chromatin opening at Hox complexes in both polyhomeotic and polycomb mutants, which is coupled to strong deregulation of Hox genes at this stage of development. Moreover, the differential effects of polyhomeotic and polycomb on Hox cluster folding match the differences in ectopic Hox gene expression observed in these two mutants, suggesting that the degree of Hox derepression in polycomb group mutants depends on the degree of structural constraints imposed by each polycomb group component. Taken together, our data suggest that PRC1 maintains gene silencing by folding chromatin domains and impose an architectural layer to gene regulation.